Well, looky here. My magazines have finally arrived. Ha ha ha. So, let's take a look at what we got today. Give me a second to open this. That, people, is the August 20th, 2007 issue of Jet with Star Jones on the cover. Okay. Let's take a peek at what is in here. Ooh, an ad for Tang. Whoa. Oh, you got a Jenna 6. Black's car for justice in Louisiana town rocked by high school racial violence. Yep, like I said, the Jenna 6, if you can see that. Or you can't, but still. I remember this incident. This was pretty controversial at the time. No joke. As it says here that that issue was an altercation last December in which six black students at a predominantly white high school were arrested after one white student, Justin Barker, suffered a concussion and multiple bruises during a fight. He was treated and released within hours at a local hospital and reportedly was feeling well enough to attend a school function that night. And it says that six black students between the ages of 15 and 18 all face attempted murder charges and it's, it was six of them hence the name Jenna Six yeah, yeah I remember this I, oh, I definitely remember this wow remember that excuse me hmm Oh, blacks on death row kill whites more likely to be executed. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -mm -mm. It says whites who kill minorities are have less of a risk of being executed than blacks who kill whites. That's, that's, that's crazy. Mm-mm-mm. It says, report card on prejudice reveals Americans' biases. Most Americans don't consider themselves biased, but they believe their peers are, according to the report card on American prejudice, a recent poll conducted by Zogby International. The poll surveyed 10,387 American adults on attitudes of race, religion, age, sexual orientation, gender, physical appearance, and politics. And down here, all this stuff says... Here are some examples of what those surveyed most Americans think. 72% said in a shooting most would expect blacks to be involved. 55% said most would assume blacks were in a drug bust. 37% said blacks would most likely be involved in a drug overdose. 70% believe most thought whites would be involved in a case of insurance fraud. 53% <coughs> excuse me said most assumed whites would be involved in identity theft and 50% felt whites would most likely be involved in sexual abuse. The Game Show Network our Game Show Network was involved in this? which sponsored the poll and TV show Without Prejudice says the study is part of its effort to spur a national dialogue on intolerance and bigotry. Francis Moffat well, you know, that's enough of that buy shit. You know that. Anyway, why don't you look towards the beauty of the week? Well, I know this is gonna be a doozy. Oh, here it is. Wow, look at that. She is fucking fine, man. Oh, 
Look at that shit. No, she's not fine. She she is gorgeous. It says she's from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Mm 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 mm. She's just smoking hot gorgeous. Right there. I saw this model in this Dugro ad here. Oh, she's a cutie too. Oh, top 20. Well, let me go to the single that this has one. No? Well, anyway. Top 20 albums for August 2007. Oh, Prince? I didn't know he made an album back then. I thought his last one was in... Uh, 2004. Remember Musicology? Came out spring 2004. Let's see. Let's see. Number eight. Cold Summer. I don't listen to Young Cheesy. I don't listen to any. Oh, excuse me. I had to crack my neck there. But yeah, <clears throat> I don't listen to any artist with the word Young or Lil in front of their name. Yeah, I don't do that. Sorry. Because you know that that artist is going to suck ass. Number nine, Sex, Love, and Pain. Never heard of Tank. Good Girl Gone Bad, Rihanna. Now, <coughs> I will be honest. As much as many people out there don't like Rihanna, I have to say at least her older songs, Good Girl Gone Bad, or albums, Good Girl Gone Bad included, were better than her more recent work. And loving music, I remember that. Music Soul Child. I Am by Chrisette Michelle. I feel Chrisette Michelle is so underrated. You know. And Fantasia. Can't believe she commit. She uh, not commit. Attempted suicide last year. I think there's a recipe here somewhere. There we go. Caribbean black bean and rice salad. A taste of the Caribbean. If you're looking to experience a little bit of the Caribbean and enjoy a taste of its cuisine, try a Caribbean be black bean and rice salad. And there's a recipe out down there. And here's an ad for Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Making awesome wings is as easy as one, two, there is no three. And all it is just two steps. Two steps for grilled buffalo wings. It's that easy. Okay, and that's just about it. That's all I have to say about this one. Peace.